hundred and something. We're now 172 kids. And this is the first year. This year we graduate that seventh that grade is class. now a twelfth grade. Okay. And um, we added a fifth grade uh, okay. uh, underneath. And now we're done, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am to create another year of curriculum uh, uh, for, for this year. Um, but the, uh, you know, it's been interesting. I mean, to, to you guys, you know, 172 students doesn't, and 30 faculty or something doesn't sound complicated to us. It's really complicated because we've always been able to do so much collaboratively and so much um, cooperatively, and now we're just big enough that there's, the, and you'll see, we're now in eight, seven buildings uh, uh -huh. of the ten yeah, we'll be in, and just different stuff like that. So right. those are little challenges that we're dealing with at the moment. Um, but that was the reason for its founding. Um, there's a bunch of other really key points to the, I mean, it's very centered on interdisciplinary education. Mm -hmm. We, most of our courses um, have specific curriculum links, like our, I'll give you an example, in ninth and 10th grade, rather than having a world history and a world lit class that's, you know, kind of this, mm -hmm. this deep and really broad, we have um, nine trimester electives um, that are paired. So they'll teach African history and African lit, and they have to take both of those if they take either. Or, or um, Asian history and Asian lit, what's uh, the other one in that, uh, that time frame? Uh, I said African, Asian, oh, uh, good lord. European? <laughs> no. Latin American? No, because we do Latin American in the spring. Well, I'm just having a brain phase. <laughs> Anyways, the notion is that they choose from three um, trimester electives uh, and the kids can take it's their choice and uh, then in the next time we have modern European uh, British lit and uh, a renaissance lit uh, combination and then in this uh, term we have medieval and, and ancient and uh, uh, one other that doesn't fit as well so but they're themed that way and they'll take two of the three while they're in ninth and tenth grade they're mixed classes ninth and tenth grade um, and so they go into a lot more depth than most world history classes, mm -hmm. but they get less. And, and then, then the, the teachers the who teach them coordinate, them coordinate a lot. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and so that's, and they know, you know, that every kid in one will be in the other. Uh, and so that's kind of our model of things mm -hmm. that we do. But we do a lot of interdisciplinary stuff. You're going to go to an art meets science class mm -hmm. where they do a bunch of art projects that are based on scientific pieces, um, you know. And we do stuff for a single language school. We only teach Spanish. So um, last year, one of the Spanish teachers went in and taught two days of geometry to the geometry class, <laughs> just really for fun and uh -huh. also to have all the kids have to learn some other material in that language. Mm -hmm. We knew we could do that because they've got some fundamental level of that. Mm -hmm. So that's a big, big, big piece here. Experiential learning is a big thing. So I mentioned that project week. Um, we completely closed down classes last week, or two weeks ago, um, and uh, the, the middle school has what are called big questions in each right. year, like who am I, um, what does it mean to be human, stuff like that, and their projects were completely based around exploration of that big question. So the eighth grade does a movie, um, the mm -hmm. sixth, uh, seventh grade did storyboards where they, I'm sorry, sixth grade did storyboards where they um, spoke to um, people and got their personal history. Mm -hmm. Um, and did uh, video interviews of them. They were really cool. And uh, the fifth grade did uh, uh, this theater presentation mm -hmm. piece. And uh, the upper school works on um, grade level impact projects, and they actually meet once a week all year. And as an example, the uh, tenth grade did an environmental audit of the whole campus. So one group measured trash and you know did stuff like that. One group worked on energy stuff. Actually, got people from Puget Sound Energy out here to do evaluations and charted a bunch of things. In fact, that group um, leader is presenting to the board of trustees this morning oh, wow. with some suggestions. Um, and uh, so we work on all those, and then we close down school for a week and, and really, really work on them. Um, the ninth graders put together a, like an environmental awareness symposium, and, and little kids come and visit it. They, they do a bunch of. Uh, you look so reflective on the long path. You'll see that later too. I think that's uh, building uh, 
rockets in science class. <laughs> I think that's eighth grade science. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's great. And so there's a big emphasis on that mm -hmm. here, too. Mm -hmm.